talked about baking cookies in the 8 o'clock hour. Maybe you're a fan of eating cookies with a big glass of milk. Have you ever thought about pairing them with beer? Huh? Our friends at Monarch Beverage have, and it is not as strange as you might think. Joining me now live from Lawrence is Evan Bat with Monarch. That's my stomping grounds, Lauren Evan. Lawrence, rather. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you as well. Good morning. Now, I love this idea. You're talking Christmas. You're talking cookies. You can't beat that. And I believe the first thing you have is yingling. And what would that pair with? Well, gosh, I mean, you talk about two of the most iconic brands in the world coming together. We've got the yingling Hershey's Chocolate Porter uh, from America's oldest brewery. They started with uh, a 200-year-old recipe that they tweaked and added the Hershey's Chocolate to. We're going to pair that with the peanut butter blossom that's conveniently topped with the Hershey, Hershey's Kiss. I, do you find on any of these that after you do it, because like one may be so sweet that you got kind of a puckery face, or does it just, how does it work together? I'm curious. Uh, no, a lot of these, they're going to mesh up real nicely. So you have a lot of complimentary flavors. So the beer being brewed with the actual chocolate is going to complement the chocolate in the cookie. Uh, so it's really you get a lot of um, flavors working together. And of course, if you eat enough cookies, <laughs> even with or without <laughs> beer, then it can get overwhelming at some point. But uh, I don't know if there's really such a thing as too many cookies. I would agree with you. I would agree with you. Oh, we were talking earlier about brownies. We hear you have a pairing to involve that as well. Well, so not quite, but we've got a beer from Maplewood Brewery out of Chicago. Uh, new, this is a new brewery in Indiana. It's called Brownie Point. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's a brown ale that they brew with vanilla beans and oats. Uh, so you get a, a wide range of flavors, a little bit of chocolatey, uh, some nutty toffee characteristics. So we're going to pair that with a pecan toffee shortbread cookie. Uh, again, just to kind of play off of those flavors in the beer uh, and really allow the two to work together. That just makes sense. I like the next one. It is the Guinness gingerbread stout and the gingerbread cookies. Of course, the two names, those two have to go together, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, of course. This one's pretty straightforward. Can't go wrong with the gingerbread cookie going with the uh, the gingerbread. So it's an imperial spice stout that they then age in Kentucky bourbon barrels coming in at 11% alcohol. Uh, and this is actually brewed in their Baltimore, Maryland facility. So really exciting beer, but uh, really a pretty simple and straightforward harmonious pairing. Plus 11%. You won't know the difference after a while. Um, <laughs> what is the dogfish head campfire? What are you pairing that with? <laughs> This is brand new this year, a seasonal beer called Campfire Amplifier. It's a milk stout that they then take, and they had way too many ingredients to remember, but it's it's really, it's meant to imitate a s'mores, um, a s'mores, classic s'mores. So they, uh, we've got it. I like this, uh, the, this final. Cookie, so graham crackers, marshmallow chocolate. Uh, it's really a pretty unbelievable beer. Oh, sorry to interrupt. The, the audio cut out. I thought you were done. Uh, this last one is a play on words, clever. Uh, the Snicker Brutal. Pairing. Tell us about that. I believe it's the one. Oh, I tried to open it up, but it's one of the foreign ones that you can't open with just your hands, can you? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this the Snicker Brutal, uh, this is kind of, if you want to take it to the next level, this cookie it actually incorporates beer in the recipe. So we use Lagunitas IPA. Uh, this recipe came from us uh, courtesy of Jackie Dodd Mallory at the beerness.com. Uh, it's her blog. So she does a lot of cooking with beer. And this was just a fun way to incorporate beer into the cookies that you're make, making and uh, provide something a little bit different. I was going to say, I, get, I guess Petaluma, California, and Chicago, Illinois aren't exactly foreign. <laughs> I was looking where yeah. it was manufactured. Yeah, these are some great ideas, Evan. We appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Scott. Not a problem. All right, you can learn more about all this stuff. They set all these beers in front of me. So I didn't know if I was supposed to drink them at the same time, yes. Jim O'Brien, but I was thinking about it. Don't forget, if you want more information on this, all you have to do is go to fox59.com slash links. Cheers to you, Jim. So what you need is a bottle opener, Scott. Well, for